I found out about it immediately after my press conference that he'd left and gone to the hospital. So it's just all precautionary. I think he was just having a little difficulty talking, but, but, uh, as the night went on, he was better as he woke up this morning, he, he came right in the facility and, um, was ready to go. He, was so he I, I don't room? know. I don't know when it, I, I've tried to pinpoint when it happened. Um, there's, there's a couple of times when you could say maybe he got hit in the neck. Um, you know, there's two or three plays. He, he doesn't have a recollection on, on which one to happen on. Is that one of those? Yes. Uh, moments? Yes. All right. So that was head coach Zach Taylor of the Cincinnati Bengals. We first heard from him then just this afternoon when quarterback Joe Burrow was actually sent to the hospital after last night's game. Did you know when it happened? Well, I heard that I've never in all of my years heard of that type of injury. Me either. And then I was like, what? That sounds, it sounds yeah, terrible. It, it sounds and two terrible. NFL players went to the hospital yesterday with the same injury. Well, he just That's bounces back after any, anything, doesn't he? He was evaluated for that possible throat contusion. And we caught up with a local doc to explain what the diagnosis even means for him. A contusion is really a, a medical term for a bruise, uh, and it sounds like in his case it was a deep bruise that affect the structures in the uh, front of his neck. And it can be serious uh, in, in certain situations, especially if it leads to swelling. So swelling in the neck, because there's the esophagus, there's the trachea, which is the windpipe. If that swells up, it can actually close off that area and can lead to difficulty breathing. Again, we don't know when he did it, really, but he's expected to be fine for practice this week in Sunday's game in Detroit.